Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. This is going to be your week ahead. We're going to use the Celtic cross spread this week. Let's see what we've got going on for you in your current situation. Ooh, starting with the Hierophant. So you're either going towards spiritual enlightenment, advancement, knowledge. Um, they're giving me the word epiphany. It's like all of a sudden you gain some sort of knowledge in your situation this week. It's also a card that would symbolize things like tradition and marriage. And so maybe that's something that you want. Maybe you actually want to settle down. Maybe you're going towards your spiritual growth and ascension this week, but you've got a lot of positive energy to start out your week. What is your challenge that you're facing? Financially, things are improving. So if you've been in a challenging financial situation, that is going to change for the better. Unexpected money, uh, pay raise, promotion, being able to be generous to other people, sharing the wealth. So if that's been a challenge for you, that's going to change for the better. Your focus this week. Ooh, interesting. Your dreams could be really significant right now. Um, could be some sort of breakthrough, sudden knowing of something, an epiphany, bright ideas, and creativity. But a fresh start and new beginnings, hiccups for confirmation. So something new is going, they're telling me you're going to be turning over a new leaf in a creative project. You need to think outside the box and you need to almost brainstorm some sort of new idea. Your focus uh, is on like creativity really this week. Creativity leads to the success I feel like in your finances. In your recent past, what do we need to know? Have you been doing your shadow work? Have you been working through obstacles, spending some time alone, um, really kind of needing to be able to actually go within, reflect, and to uncover maybe some hidden aspects of yourself. That could be what you've been working on. Possibilities coming in. Ooh, the possibility of marriage, commitment, celebrations. You have the Hierophant, you have the Four of Wands. So really some things are starting to become more stable in your life. <clears throat> I feel like that's due to hard work on your part and being creative. But the other thing I see is that this could be a stabilizing influence coming into your life. Most of the Sagittariuses I know are a little hesitant on commitment until they feel like they've found a person that allows them to be themselves, to be creative, to be free spirited, because without that, they feel like it's more of a prison sentence than something that's positive. So that could be what you're working through as well. Let's see what card are we on here? All right. In your near future, you have some sort of balance coming in. This could be the justice that you're seeking. It could be marriage. You know, it's a commitment. It's a contract, legalities, um, and finding the balance or restoring the balance in some way, shape, or form. I do feel like this is an indication that whatever has been um, like lopsided, upside down, uneven, unequal, that's about to be resolved in a positive way. So that's good. Your power in this situation. I feel like you are going to be able to stand on your own two feet, especially financially. And maybe that's something that you've always wanted. And maybe you're a little worried to go into another commitment because you don't want that to affect your finances in a negative way. What I'm really seeing is that you need to start planning and setting some goals for your future, especially your financial future. Do you have a job that pays your bills? Do you need, you know, a different one? Are there some things that need to change to create more stability in your finances? Are you where you want to be or are you working towards those goals? Plan and set some goals. All right. The environment that you are in or outside influences. There could be a lot of negativity that surrounds you. I feel like a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, crying tears, frustrations. So we want to make sure that the outside influence is not like spilling onto us directly. Sometimes we have to like close some things off so that we're more stable mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, all of those things. And so if you're struggling right now, I feel like you need to kind of get to the bottom of it. Like what is the root cause? Is it external? Is it internal? Is it both? And kind of work through some of those obstacles in the best way possible. Your hopes and the action that's needed. Oh, 
Are you ready to start a family? Are you expecting? Are you hoping that you will soon come pregnant? I feel like you might be meeting the right person to start a family with. Maybe you're re really ready to settle down, start a family, get married, all of those things. And I feel like you want to nurture the things you want to grow. So she's seen as the divine feminine. I feel like you're kind of embracing those aspects of yourself. Male or female doesn't matter that you're embracing the softer side the empathy, the nurturing, the caring, and all of those things will help to turn your life around for the better. Your outcome. Ooh, needing to listen to your intuition. That's going to be huge for you. So you could be receiving some divine messages, certain downloads, a sudden knowing, maybe spirits trying to guide you towards the right person so you can start your little family. I do feel like this is an indication that spirit's going to guide you and that if you're paying attention to the signs that spirit's giving you, you will always be on the right path. Remember, sometimes we have detours and those are meant to teach us lessons so that we can grow, but you're always being guided towards the right situation, people, and outcomes. So always trust your instincts and intuition. Have a great week.